let us understand what is correlation in load runners or let us understand why we why do we need correlation in load runner or any performance testing tool it is used in client server interaction what happens is that if we send request to the server then what happens is that the server receives the request and allocates a new session id suppose the id is a now what happens is that client stores the session id a and uses this that session id to start the session with id a which has been received from the server and send a request to the server to allow it to record and then what happens is that a server recognizes that id and allow the client to record the script we will explain it during the live session uh, just to make you understand the concept i think now it should be going over it i think but uh, i will show you the a small example to make you understand this this is my script let it open now to see this example you have to download mercury web tool website it can be downloaded from here by going to google.com and go to mercury web tools <coughs> what uh, you have to download it now where will you get it this is web tool sample application at marketplace microfocus.com you have to go here and you have to download the application which will be running on your local host so there is nothing to do much you just have to download it and uh, we have to simple example you can download it here i have downloaded it here so this is web tools folder and this is downloaded one and uh <coughs> before opening the application in the server in the browser we have what we have to do is we have to start the server the local server so we have started it now we can run it here this is my website and remember that the password username is jojo and password is b e a n bin login now click on flights click on this click on this link and click on sign off this is my scenario and i have recorded this script i will record it once again but for now i have recorded this scenario as i have shown you so this is the scenario that is i have recorded that scenario and i am replaying it I have opened the time viewer, so it is opening this. Now there is some problem, and the script failed. Now why this script failed? The reason being is this script failed is because I have appended one value of user session, and each time when I log in to the mercury web tool this user session is different so when i have recorded this script with this user session 
and now uh, when I am replaying this script this value should be different this value is returned by server and it is different each time user logs into the web application here it is mercury web tour each time user will log into mercury web tour it will generate this different value and this different value should be accepted by server each time suppose first time it was generated and all the requests that will be using this session id will you be accepted by the would have been accepted by the server but on second time this value changes and server is not accepting it Let us uh, understand it more clearly. I am opening paint. It will make more, it more clear to explain. Now suppose I have a server. this is client this is server now client sends request to the server this is request this is client machine this is server machine client is sending request to the server server is sending session id along with response suppose the value is it is giving value a a a that if you will again make request with a it will give you the response so <coughs> when i made a request for the first time it generated response but with session id a now if i will send this request with this session id again then it will give response server will give back the response but this a value is here this is a value now what happens is i am in recorded script this value is present but when i am replaying the script this value this value changes now there is another value now what happens is during replay it is giving me another value which is x x x now any further communication i am sending a as session id but uh, it is accepting triple x for further communication 
so that is why my script is failing this value will change each time user logins to the application each time request will be made to the server it will generate unique session id if you will send same session id with the request server will reject the request this value is creating problem this value changes each time so in the recorded script if you will be sending if you are sending the request to the server whether it is login request or anything it will for first time suppose it is a if you are login to the second time it will be triple x so session id changes each time now you have recorded the script and your session id is a and uh, next time you are logging to the uh, logging to the application its value changes and in the script you are using this value only that is why replay is not possible server is not recognizing that session id this value should be handled because it is changing each time in the script it is fixed you have to make it dynamic so that server accept each time each time its value is changing so each time you have to handle it dynamically so there should be a way to handle all this to handle this session id generally this is session id token id or some variable like this which changes upon each request so that has to be handled in the script in the script when it is fixed and we are sending the request with the same session id it will not allow this value change it dynamically and it has to be handled dynamically we have to make it dynamic so that server accept each time the format we make it as a format so that server accepts the format and allow the request each time using the script only using the script itself server allows each time you can replay it number of times and when you are we have when you have replayed it successfully for one user you can replay it successfully for hundreds of users thousands of users lakhs of users millions of users so this is the case so you have to understand it what is correlation so just a minute so so we go to uh now we read it once again it is using client server architect communication correlation what happens is if we send request to the server then server receives the request and allocates a new session id a this session id is returned by the server now you can make number of request in one login you can request home page you can request contact us page you can request any link you can click on any link and you can make n number of request in one session if you have logged in for the first time you can make number of request this will be valid each time you make a request this session id will be valid but once you log out and again log into the application this value will be changing so if you have recorded the script and it is static and you are again logging into the application using this script with this session id the session id changes server don't accept it client stores that session id 
and use the session ID to start the session with ID A which has been received by the server and send a request to the server to allow it to record and then what happens is that server recognizes that ID and allow the client to record the script. So we have seen this in live session as well. Our script is failing. Why? Because this is I have explained here that this is server recognizes that ID this is for the first session now if you are again logging you are logging out and logging into the application or replaying the script server does not recognize that ID and makes the script fail so this is what is happening here this is this script is fail so this value now i have what we have to do is we have to record the same scenario once again i have recorded it i am opening that one i have already recorded the same scenario i will log in into the mercury web tools and uh, click on the links and finally we'll sign off i will repeat the same scenario in the login this will be jojo this will be bean and this will be login and this will be i will click on all links and I will click on sign off. This is the scenario. I am recording it once again. I have recorded it. I will show you. See, this is the script. This is learning form 2. Same script. This ID changing in the learning form 1 earlier script. This value was different, and this is different value. Now, simple way to recognize it, how it is different, what we have to do, we have to compare both the scripts. Now, how we compare the scripts, we will go to tool, compare, select file to compare, it is not showing here, just a minute. Select file to compare, compare to this one, this is it. Now, these are si difference which has been found in both the scripts while recording. So, there are little difference, but uh, more or less it is same. Somewhere think time is different, somewhere snap not name is different. So, this does not matter much. main thing that matters here is this value you can see it here up to here this value is same this value is different this value is different just to show you this value is different this value is different this value is different you can see it here up to here it is and both are both have same this is double quotes and comma double quotes and comma is there in end in both the format of session id 
and this value is also same in both the mm, scripts so left boundary value it is called a left boundary so left boundary and right, right boundary is same in both the scripts in both the recorded script only the middle value is changing so we have to handle that middle value only so now i am cancelling it now we have understood why, why it is failing so now what we will do we will handle this situation now how how will i handle it i will handle it using automatic correlation i go to design studio and i click on correlate this value you see it is showing me option that we have to correlate this this is same this value is different we have seen it now uh, what i will do i am doing automatic correlation means tool will tool will i am just selecting it and tool will when i click on correlate tool will automatically handle it by generating a function in the script it is taking some time and now i have clicked on correlate it will correlate the script now it has applied correlation now there must be some change in the script see user session name user session tag name this value user session has been parameterized now it is changing its time now we will see that in session Now this was original value. Now we have what we have done. We have parameterized it. I have used tag name here. tag name is input extract whatever value this value will be parameterized means it will tell the tool that this value is will change so server will accept it will send dynamic value to the server and server will accept the pattern now since it has been done now let us replay the script first to understand the thing more better now you can see we are clicking on different links and we are now this script should pass just what we did we have just uh, done automatic correlation now tool has automatically added the function this was original value now it has parameterize it extract whatever value this value has been parameterized we could use left boundary and right boundary also but uh, it 
the tool has done here itself so we do not need to bother much now for now so this is automatic correlation we are successfully able to log into the application now we can replay it for multiple times and we can use this script for running for 50 users for 100 users for 1000 users for million of users we can use this script we have handled that user session problem and now we are able to handle the situation the same thing is the same thing is done here in the what generally happens during replay during replay a client sends request to the server to start a session id then the server request a uh, request and a request new session id etc a client start the session with previously recorded session id a and send request to the server to allow it to record a server is unable to identify the id a as it was expecting id x access that it has allocated and session fails and that is why replay fails in this scenario correlation comes in picture there are various situation when a request is based on a previously received response from the server such as session id server date time which is fresh from the server these values are different every time you run the application or record a script now consider a scenario where the execution of the script depends upon a value returned by the server from the previous request it means you need to find a mechanism where you can find out the pattern of the server request response and attach it to the next request so that server can accept it and give response this is total fundamental of what is called correlation in load runner we saw it how do we do correlation now there are many types of correlation in load runner automatic correlation manual correlation we will see it we will see all these things now let us see what are the steps to auto correlate the script they are given as below we will see all these in live session uh, we have already seen it record a script replay a script identify value to be correlated we have identified select the value and click on correlate button we did it verify the script by running again a successful run means successful correlation we have successfully run the script and my execution was successful that means successful correlation now manual correlation automatic correlation works so we do not need to worry much about uh, manual correlation but we have to understand manual correlation it is mandatory if you will understand manual correlation and you will learn to correlate the values handle the values you are almost done with the scripting part in the next session we will cover manual correlation it is a detailed subject and need to be understood in a more clear way so since it is important part and needs detailed analysis, we will cover it in next part. Thank you.